I'm at Studio 33, and I want to show you a new product over there. Ranger Cookie got a setup right now. It's called a cookie can. You need to get one. Let's find out what it's about. Ranger Cookie, I want to show you what's the cookie can. The cookie can. The cookie can comes with some spray, five lights with batteries, a styrofoam, PPC pipe uh, protector, <laughs> and a little B, three Ziploc bags, a couple small Ziploc bags, a bag of handy duty hand gloves or sanitized gloves, two sanitizers, two rolls of toilet paper, one for your car and one for this can, an empty Folgers can to put your toilet paper in. Toilet paper? What this can is about? Let's see. Is that it? That's all I get. One big bag of rollers. A tarp. Hand sanitizer. Well, I'm sorry. Disinfecting towels. And a smaller bucket. It's empty. Wait, wow. Does it do anything else? Is this cookie can ranger cookie? I'm, I'm glad you asked. All right, the cookie can. What it is? Uh, we are going to the first annual bushcrafting meet on October, October 16, 17, and 18. Now, they do not have a Johnny Pot out there or restrooms, so I created the cookie can. All right, let's see what it's all about, the cookie can. All right, first, you get one of these bags. You peel off a bag. You place the bag in the can. You place the styrofoam which you let the giddy dang around the can lip. Why is that, Ranger Cookie? It protects your ass from being cut into the can. This part goes right here. Now, what else you do, Ranger Cookie? Well, you, you can get another bag and place that on top. Oh, I see what you're making. That's right, a Johnny Pod. But it's not a Johnny Pod, it's a cookie can. What's these lights for? Well, some people don't go the same time. Some people go 3 o'clock in the morning, 12 o'clock in the morning, and these hate lights up. They good for hanging up. They got these little things here. So, see what else can it do? What else do I get? We got extra toilet paper. We have some breeze for those body functions. We have two hand sanitizers for those who, after they do in their business, they want to clean up. The hand sanitizer is there. We have a bucket. This is where you keep your other toilet paper. You open, pull out the toilet paper, use and dispose in the can. What? Oh, don't, don't show me, please. Don't, don't show me anything like that. Oh no, the whore, the whore. You finished yet, Ranger Cookie? All right. Then when you're ready to clean, you take your hand, little hand sanitizers. You dump the, your waste. <laughs> oh God! Then you spray to keep the smell away. Then you put a little type of wipe. You wipe. Then you put a new bag in for the next use. Wow, Ranger Cookie! All right, how you pack it up? Let's find out. I don't want to throw these bags away. These too good. So what I'm going to do is put everything up. Now first, I want to make sure my toilet paper is in this little container, which it is. I'm going to make sure, I'm going to put my, my items in the smaller can. Now you can put the end, look at these. These fold into a compact little boxes. And what's these little zip like for? Well, I want to secure every one in each its own little bag. And I'm going to take the batteries out for later on use. Because what happens if you leave your batteries 
inside of the, the uh, thing, it corrodes it. I have learned a lesson through time to take your batteries out. Let's see what else can it do? What else do I get? What else it does? What else you got? You got a tarp. You can wrap around your kooky can. All right, what I'm gonna do is put each individual in its little sack. And it's original little bag. And place it in the bucket here I have here. Oh god. So that would keep everything sanitized when not in use. Now, we know we don't have a toilet. And sometimes people cannot make it to the toilet in time. So I created the cookie can for my own use. But if any other bushcrafters want to use the cookie can, that's all you do is follow the straight rules I have created for the cookie can. You change the bag every time and you wipe the seat. It's simple as that. That's what this is for. I bought this for that reason. How much that cost you, Ranger Cookie? Like five dollars. Five dollars. I'm sorry, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine dollars to create the cookie can besides the toilet paper. you boy huh so it's gonna be it's two containers it's supposed to all fit it don't fit <laughs> I should have done this earlier oh well I guess there'll be two separate bags for the cookie can I hope you enjoy this short video how to make the cookie can and the, the purpose of the cookie can is this is your turlet comes in complete in two or three separate containers all right I'm Ranger Cookie and I'm at Studio 33 and when you're doing your business, make sure you shut your eyes because you don't want to see that. Sh you know what I mean. All right. The cookie can. All right. I'll see you later. Thank you for letting me come here to Studio 33. I hope you enjoy this short little thing. Take it away. All right. And that concludes the Ranger Cookies cookie can. And I want you to hope you enjoy the next video. Studio 33. We always making different things and crazy crap because Ranger Cookie is kooky all right think of Kevin and I hope you enjoy the next video and um, I'll see you next time at the Studio 33、well, Studio 33 with Kevin Krill and Kevin, and I'm here to show you the cookie can. What's a cookie can? Let's find out. All right, you come here. I want you to be close. I want you to see the cookie can in its fullest. All right, uh, let's put the camera right here. I want to show you the new product of the cookie can. <laughs> I'm gonna leave that in. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, I gotta move it closer. <laughs>